Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Sally Face Episode 2. Previously, we upgraded the Gear Boy, which only gave us more questions, but did send us on a bit of a ghost hunt. Alright, we're going ghost hunting. So we can have responses. Here we go. That is a demon seal. That didn't look good. There's also this room with a bird cage that had no purpose before, but I suspect. Here we go. That equally did not look as good. Check on Charlie's old place. It's a lot of time skips here, by the way, because I'm basically going to every floor and area and like running around this thing. That was a weird symbol. Blue colored this time too. Um, what? I need a bat in. <laughs> At this rate, I feel it. Then again. I think this is a pretty linear story. I wonder what happens if we release all the seals. Check out Miss Rosenberg's place. Here we go. Oh my god, Miss Rosenberg. Oh my, what is a horrific device you have? It's, uh, well, it's hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. S so have you been dead all along? Are you okay? Is anything okay? I haven't been in a long time. I meant, yes, I know, Sally. I'm not going to drop dead on you. Not today, at least. See ya. Weird. We got a new chapter of the Game Boy. Seeking Providence. Chapter 1. She desperately sought a place among the council. So the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the Book of the Forgotten Truths. It's playing a different character. Ow. Okay, so these spikes are no, are no joke. <laughs> Definitely gotta get around them. It's not too bad though. I say that as I walk into the spikes. Okay. Gotta be careful. Our character has a lot, actually, a lot of momentum. It's a little weird. It should be. This should be difficult at all. But even something much as holding down the arrow keys at all will send your character plowing into the spikes. They have very slippy feet. Very slippery. Okay. Answer in. Hoo we. That was close. Down here. Down there. There we go. Did it. Take book. I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my wife now? The catch recognizes the great resolve you shown us today. Let this book stand as testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens, and our reach be infinite and everlasting. But we are the devourers of God. I feel like this is directly linked to the storyline. In actuality. Some kind of cult. Your kitchen is haunted. I'm sorry. And you know it has a seal. What the...
Let's see. We unlocked chapter 6. Oh, of course we unlocked chapter 6 after getting the seals. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components the council required. Oh boy, we got another spike maze. Let's go right. Right's always right. What is with this cult and spike mazes? It's like we do evil things. What did you do here? I'm into evil things, what do you do? We make spike mazes. That's evil? Yes, most evil. If you ever played Super Meat Boy, I wanna be the guy. Evil. My god, you're right. I wish you'd join your cult. So last time we went south, basically kind of like this direction. So let's try this also. Nope, it's a dead end. Okay. So then we'll go this way. And we'll see if right is really right. And I'm assuming right is right. I'm just saying. Right is always right. This pun doesn't make itself. Inchin. Don't want to be killed by the overcompensation. Inch forward. Just check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's the. the see, I told you right was right. Now we got the skull. Now we just need to leave here alive. Inch around. Okay. See? Told you about that right way. When always in doubt, just think of puns and word plays. Trust me, it'll work in every situation. Help! The dragon's attacking us and burning down the village! But I have a way to solve this. How is scales impenetrable? We just pun-ish him with puns. He'll have to scale back his attacks. And then, you know, everyone burns alive. But anyway, at least you'll have a laugh before you die. <laughs> so puns solve everything. Well, these jokes make me burn up. Yeah, we're still in the dragon puns. I'm sorry. There's another skull. Do I have to find the relic at each location? Is that... Dang, damn it! Pro speed run. World record right here. We got this. We got this, come on. I wonder if you get the skull, if you actually have to, like, meticulously go back alive or not. Or, or it just spawns back there safely. Oh, well, yeah, well, we got that one. Now we speed run back. Look at that, that's, that's some skill. That's some drifting right there. Some cultist drifting. Just one more skull. Yeah, boy! Dang! Got too greedy. Okay. Alright, so go north. Probably a dead end. No, actually, no. Got it. I have a tree of remaining assets. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. Maybe the people who founded this apartment were actually the cultists. I understand. 
Oh yeah. Deepest lore. No. The father? Who? Sal. Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, Sal. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I really don't have time. Remember all. You remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? To go. Edges in to get the red ball to die. Row. Is that future me? I hope it's not something that silly. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, and then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. I should probably go check in with Ton again and see if he's found anything. So we got a new game. Chapter 2. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. So now I'm the character I saw in one of the previous chapters. Well, they really like the games where I have to, like, navigate something and not overshoot my walking. Essentially. Okay, so let's go here. That's a dead end. Should remember that. It's a little tricky bend right here. Just take my time, honestly. I have gone pretty much to the point where I can like speed run for these a little bit, but I don't want to risk it. So let's go like this. There's a switch. That's the exit. So we gotta go this way. Weird, there's symbols. Gotta remember that. I think I can always replay these games. Uh, if something like that is important. <laughs> About to hit the switch again. No, thankfully not. So is that actually in your best interest to just kind of go reckless and get damaged? Use key. That was an interesting chapter. Quite a few secrets are being found. I thought this game was just gonna be kind of a, uh, like all the kind of supernatural stuff was just subjective. Maybe it's really about more angst and like growing up, but this is actually turning on into a pretty supernatural thing. Check out the Super Gear Boy. Todd made that? That's pretty awesome, like, wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind, I can get us new ones. Damn, well, that's okay. Hopefully it'll help to find out more about those ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Hey Todd. It's strange. I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. Look at this photo of him on the public record. Charlie Mansfield. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Miss Sanderson was killed. Not even the classified police records. It's as if they weren't here at all. Like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. 
It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7. Lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? But here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report, one day after the original was filed. Saying that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. It's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they had been fishing and filmed the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Did you have been able to summon her, even with a super gear boy? Perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Maybe... The old woman? But Addison T. Everyone seems to love your tea. You should open up a little shop in town or something. I bet you do really well. What a fine young chap you are, Sal. You know, I don't often talk about this, but it was once my dream to be just such a thing. Then once my father passed, I decided to carry out his dream of maintaining the Addison apartments. It's a great dream. Yep. Don't you think your dad would have wanted you to follow your own inspirations? Yes, I suppose he would have. Though it's much too late for that now. Couldn't possibly abandon this place. You could just sell it. Yeah, see? You could always sell to someone who would take good care of it and then use that money to start your business. Well, come take a dare at our own little entrepreneur in the house. You're a true an inspiration, young sir. However, I'm quite happy with my life here. I get to keep Father's dream going and also make my tea for the tenants. It's sort of the best of both worlds. Oh yeah, I suppose so. Hey, Terrence. No one has called me that in a long time. Ha! <laughs> I almost forgot my own name for a moment. I just want you to know that I understand what it's like to be afraid. To hide away from the world. And if you ever want to talk, I'm here for you. Thank you, Sal. You're a good person. A true friend. I kind of like how... I mean, we had Charlie and whatnot. And some of the characters in the past. Uh, chapter. But for the most part, the tenants are pretty nice. Everyone's kind of like in it together in a way. Even the landlord that's run out of this place isn't that bad of a guy. And they're kind of affectionate towards Sally. They're like, yeah, he's a little kid. What are doing? There's a necklace. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles! That's not a nice word, Larry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. Especially one that's as horrifying as you. No offense. But we ain't winning the Beetlejuice contest here. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Okay. Where have you been lately? Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean Mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just said he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my dad didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. Oh. Oh no. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice, nice like mommy. Maybe the red-eyed ghost is here? But who knows? We'll see. What happened? I remember they had a fight and then he was sad. And then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? 
I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing on Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, God. This mystery deepens even more. Everything's connected. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. Maybe he is the red-eyed ghost and he took his dad. I'm sorry. Like a raft ghost. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes. Where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... I mean, you guys gotta find better ways to enter this world. Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Do you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. We received a new game cartridge. So let's... Check that out. Chapter 5 Playtime was interrupted by the promptly settling sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone far too deep into the unfamiliar woods. There better not be spikes. No, this will just be the Lost Woods, I'm thinking. Maybe. Can I go off the bean trail a little bit? I can. Maybe where there's those rocks I have to go? Okay, so last time we went north, we went west, then we're going south. There we did. Where have you been, child? You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost and it was so dark and... And the backlighting started fading and the battery died. Hush now, my sweet angel. Everything is okay. Here, why don't you have this? Grandma's necklace? Megan. It will protect you from the wickedness in this world, so you don't have to be afraid anymore. The necklace. What about father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. So is this Megan's backstory? Although they changed the setting a little bit to make it look a little more old-fashioned. Then again, they could be just really old ghosts. We don't know how long they've been here. Let's go! To David's place. What's up, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but the only thing holding up my shelf right now. The those kids next door in the V01, the nice kids. And all but they have these real loud parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right back down. If you just could talk to them for me and give them a little quieter, they could let you borrow the crowbar. Okay, I can talk to Thanks, Sal. I do it myself, but I'm a king close, you see. I just hate to be on the old party pooping, you know? It's not a problem. I'll be right back. See us. I told you. It's a waste of space. Them college students. Get out of here, you hipsters. Go pack to San Franciscan. Hey, Sierra. What are you up to? Oh, hey, Sally Face. I'm glad to bring an alternate invitation for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. So, can I look over your list? Sure. D&D, movie night, video games, chess tournament, karaoke, and debate. Quiet things. 
D and D. How about this? Yeah, we usually do D and D first. So I want to do something different tonight. Video games allowed. Chess tournament. How about this? It has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. Okay. I'll quiet things down. Hey, Shaggy. Yo, what up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. But if I have a look, go for it, little dude. Someone classical. Maybe this one? How about this? Huh? You know, there's something interesting about this one. It sounds particularly... it's classy. I think this could work. Okay, that's another thing narrowed down. You know, I should probably turn this on while I'm here. Just in case one of you punks is a ghost. Nope. It just doesn't sound like me. Azaria. Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally Face. I'm trying to choose a game for party tonight. And I got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Yeah, no musical chairs. This raids might be noisy. Duck duck moose noisy. Telephone, ping pong. Ping pong's not especially noisy, is it? I mean, compared to dodgeball? Charades? And then people are calling things out. Hmm. It'll either be ping pong or charades, maybe. How about this game? No. Ping pong table has been laid to rest. Telephone, maybe? How about this game? Hmm. You know, this reminds me of Crate School. A touch of nostalgia could just be what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. Alright. Told it made this party totally lame. Now we're done here. I mean, that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. What's up, brother? I worked it all out with the college students. They're going to have a much more low key party this time. Well, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah will be so happy too. Last time my wedding picture almost blew it up to pieces. I'm glad I can help. Right, let me grab that coba for you. One second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. That was a crowbar. Thanks, you too. Can I come in? Of course, my friend. Whoa, whoa, we was. Oh, I see you have a picture of happier days over there. With your Sarah. Hey Sarah, how's it going? Oh yeah, is it right, babe? It's nice to have a relaxing weekend for once. You're so funny, hon. I love you. Yeah, that's... Huh? Hey, David. Where'd you get this little dial from? Oh, there was just some junk stuck that old piece of wood I found. I must have fell off it. Where'd you get that board from? Down by the garbage outside. How's it coming, Windy Atskin? It's missing a piece of this puzzle box, see? You might ever take it? Now nah, go for it. It's all neon in the telly face. Examine. I should be able to open it somehow. Symbols. Got you. Weird. Looks like some kind of computer chip. I have no idea what this is. I guess I could use the crowbar to break in. 
Then we could find something important inside. There's a crowbar. Sneak in here. Secret. Hey, is any ghost in here? Oh yeah. Miss Anderson? Who are you? Oh, I see your throat's a little bit missing. My name is Sal. I moved in after you died. Oh, I can't remember much of it. Just hazy pieces, like waking from a dream. Do you know what happened to my Herman? He couldn't bear to come back to this room. Uris came and took everything out for him. He looked totally defeated. He must have meant the world to him. I miss him so much. This cold isolation is torturous. I wish we had never moved to this place. And he would have never met them, and Charlie would have never... Oh, oh no, it's coming back. Them. Cult? Don't worry, Miss Anderson. Go hide. Goodbye, Sal. Got Chivo unseen. New Game Boy game. I mean, Gear Boy. Chapter 8, actually. Interesting. After learning what Herman was involved with, Miss Sanderson reached out to a friend for help. They'd meet up later that night. Have a nice day at work. Promise you you stay out of trouble, honey. Of course. I love you, babe. I love you too. I have to gather some evidence first of anyone who's going to believe this. Gotta avoid the cultists. This is not just spike puzzles. Dang. They're actually somewhat difficult to avoid. Let's get my hitbox is very big. But they do have predictable patterns and they don't just No, that one's chasing me. Whoa, whoa we that was close. Okay, just go. Wait for it! Whew. Watch it, watch it, watch it! Nope, they got us. They're going for this. Some some basically charge at you, but they're not actually charging at you. It's the way their pattern works, I suppose. This one moves right there. Keep going. Got it. Now we need to get out. Leave the book intact. Move this way, move that way. Wait for it. Go. Almost a straight shot. Come on. Nice. Leave. Hey, this isn't a good time to talk. Can you come back later? Charlie, what the hell has gotten into you? He's possessed. That's really interesting. So she found a cultist book just before Charlie murdered her. Huh. Hey Larry, we got this thing open. You know what this is? Are you holding up? I opened the box. I see you found the missing piece of my dad's old puzzle box. And you completely solved it? Damn, Sally. I don't know how you did it. That sucker's tough to figure out. It was weird. I feel like I had some guidance from the other side or something. Anyways, look, look what was inside. I have no idea what it is. It looks like a kind of computer chip. Whoa, I have this strange feeling like I've seen that before. Any idea what it is? I have no clue, dude. I'm sure you can figure it out. You've gone this far. Maybe this chip has some kind of evidence about the cult. How are you holding up? I'm okay. I just can't believe I've been living in a building full of ghosts and never realized it before. It makes sense if you think about it. You never saw it out. You didn't even believe in this stuff before. So even if you did see something strange, you probably just wrote off your mind as something more logical, you know? Yeah, you're probably right. Got the crowbar. Awesome. Go ahead without me. I'll be up in a minute. I'll have to make a stop on the way. I'll be back. It's kind of interesting how we can get like a lot more lore if we just do a little more exploring. Take a look at this. I found inside of that puzzle box. It appears to be some sort of miniature computer chip. I've never seen anything like it before. This is either an incredible find or really neat science fiction prop. What do you think it's for? 
They'll make miniature computer chips like this in about 10 more years in their timeline. There's only one way to find out. We have to test it. I'm conscious about installing foreign tech into my computer. My curiosity overpowers any hesitation. I should be able to hook it up with a few minor modifications. Give me a second. I'm really, really excited to see what this could be. Outstanding. It seems to have been bonded to the motherboard on its own. That's remarkable. What is it? I have no idea. It's all jumbled. A face. Oh no. What have I done? You have... You have found the cognition key. What is... Where am I? You're in the world of talking backwards to be vague and mysterious. Some... Things... Will... Appear... Broken. Do not be... Afraid... Your... Mind... Cannot... Handle... It... All... At... Once. I can't understand you. What? Everything will be... Revealed in time. You will... Know... What... To do. That was weird. Todd? What happened to the computer chip? So you know, seriously. I'm afraid I'm not sure what you're referring to. Can you be more specific? You're telling me you don't remember the weird glitching and the explosion of light from your computer? Are you feeling alright, Sal? You seem to be out of it today. Are you getting enough sleep? Um, I have been having trouble sleeping lately. Maybe it was nothing. Just forget I said anything. What are you up to now? I'm doing some more research and reaching out to other paranormal enthusiasts online. If there's some kind of malicious presence in the building, there has to be a way to deal with it. Todd. I think you and I need to hang out more often. It's cool if you help me out with this stuff. Anytime, Sal. So I'm thinking. So I guess there is a cult. That, or something like that, like... It could be, of course, that the cult is symbolic just for, like, the flaws of man and anger issues. That's a possibility. Uh, but assuming there is a cult, okay, there seems to be a kind of aspect of hate in this apartment. And I'm assuming it took over Megan's father. Uh, it took over Charlie or something. It seems to be almost infectious and causes bad things to happen in this place. I should be able to pull these boards off of the crowbar. Alright, let's go in. Mattress, furniture, hole in the wall. It's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's room on the other side. No. Let's put no return. Here we go. Wow, you came right out of the mattress. Stacy? You suffered a terrible fate. Oh my god. Are you okay? But listen, you just asked a ghost that's always stabbed by a mattress of death if they're okay. I think that's that's a no. They get new for Game Boy though, or Gear Boy. Chapter 4 When her husband learned of her indiscretions, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said I need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. Power cut. No, I have to get back safely. Okay. Next floor. I should just kind of stick towards the left and the right. They don't seem to really flow around. This is much easier than the last one I did. So I suppose maybe the wives were trying to investigate what their husbands were doing. So they were essentially in awe together. That one would right for me. I think it might have just been coincidental, but it almost seemed like it was going right for me. Now 
No, I gotta do this in order, too. Like, I can't get caught. Alright, we got this. Just be careful. That one comes right for me right there. Staying cultus. Nope, no, 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 nope. Oh. Right here. Okay, we're out. One more. Be careful. Be careful! That is lies. Speed run. Just go right for it. And just get out. Just gonna be careful because our hitbox is very big. And that was nearly terrible right there. Mm, this is bad. Bad. There we go. There's the first floor. Depth trap zone. Right here. I need to get out. Let's go for it. Okay. Do I have to do the basement too? This one has no defenders. I can't take that now. We cut the power. Here we go. Rosenberg. So Greg was helping out too. Greg, Rosenberg. Okay, Rosenberg. I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bones. Good. Rose. No, this is for the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I don't. F I think we might have done it. I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in all this. If we can stop the ritual, then the Council won't have another chance to perform it for a thousand years. And I pray to God that this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. Let's fight for our own survival. That's interesting. When did I get a Rubik's Cube? I replaced it with the chip. Let's see if we get anything in here. A noose. Hello? We're, we're kind of interrupting the cutscene, but let's see. In a moment, he finds himself somewhere else, even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here. He knew what must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things to give and cannot afford any obstacles. Wow, this character is even faster than... Oh boy, that's Sonic the Hedgehog right there. Woman statue. Let me see if I can compensate. Okay. The child will only slow us down. She will never fall asleep with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. There's another woman statue. Walk with me to the Undying Flame and be our power shall be endless. That's a statue of me. It's the family. Megan? Flames. That's all there is. And Seeking Progress. That's all the games. Luke, can you hear me? Luke? Oh no, it's the demon. Perhaps life itself is but a game. What the hell just happened? Todd, give me one of his inventions. 
He said that theoretically could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. Thanks, Larry. You're, you're a good backup, actually. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew as some apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Don's thing, he seemed to, like, took care of it. Oh. What is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking. I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he, he, he just... It's okay, Larry. It's okay. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The gods are giving me that look. Wait, that was only the part of the story. I'd hope to get some honest insight from you today. Especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracy, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you. For what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds. But what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse. Please, just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. Maybe the doctor's in on it. What a fucking psycho, eh? Doctor? Are you going to the treehouse? Are you, are you with me or against me? This place has gone down since then. Now I am playing the doctor. Floof. Hopefully the doctor is on my side and he's looking at the evidence. I'm not gonna find out these occultists are everywhere. They're filled with clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Rusty tools and other various junk. Floor. A few old amateur paintings. Probably hilarious. Ah, uh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just need to see for myself. So that was so convincing that this whole thing has seemed... off. Oh no, the demon! Wait, no, it's Larry! You die. Dr. Annan? What, what, what? Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of the jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please. You have to get Sal here. This... You, it, it can't be! Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... Oh no. Oh no, he fell down. Shit. Oh god, he's dead. Really? So that's it for the second episode, or chapter rather, of Sally Face. So this plot kind of went in a direction I didn't think it was going to go. Originally I felt it was going to be fully grounded. And just be kind of... My life in the 90s, now my life went upside down. Um, but nope, Larry is dead. There is a cult, there is ghosts, uh, evil demons, conspiracy and everything. So this is this is going off the rails a bit and um, not necessarily a bad thing. I'm, I'm really curious to see where they take it. Uh, so far, I like Sally Face a lot. It definitely captures, like I said, that 90s kind of 
edgy grunge aesthetic with the cartoons and everything, and it still kind of captures that. And uh, I look forward to seeing where it goes. The only slight complaint would be the music is basically the same <laughs> throughout the main game. So little details, little details can use some brushing up. Like more sounds and more music. But aside from that, I'm, I'm fine with it. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Sally Face Chapter 2. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.